Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Odyssey Penrose. This is a wireless gaming headset from Odyssey, which is a cut-down and more affordable variant of the Odyssey Mobius, a fantastic gaming headset from Odyssey that I reviewed and unboxed previously. Now, this is the PlayStation version. There are two different versions, one for PlayStation and one for Xbox. They're discernible because the Penrose X, which is the Xbox version, obviously has X in the title, and it has a green ring around the outside. And the Penrose standard version, which is the PlayStation one, is this, this one that you can see here with that blue ring around the outside of the ear cups. Now, for reference, I'm going to be using this on PC and talking to you about what that's like to use on PC and on your phone. I am going to include a link in the description so you can find out more if you're interested in plugging it into one of the new games consoles. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those to be able to test that and show what that's like. But I'm going to talk about my experiences with it on PC. Now, also for reference, I am using the microphone from this headset in order to do the voiceover for this video so you can get an idea of what the quality of the microphones like it's meant to be a broadcast quality microphone that cancels out a lot of background noise and I'll show you some of that at the end of this video but what I want to show is that it does do a fairly good job of capturing audio but one thing I have noticed is that it does pick up a lot of the pop sounds so there isn't really a great pop filter on it and you will probably hear some of the peas in my speech as I go through and talk to you about it. Now this is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless gaming headset that is a premium device. It's £249 up to £300 depending on where you get it from which is about the same in dollars and so not cheap but you do get what you pay for it's certainly cheaper than the mobius but that's because there are a number of features cut out of it but then some added in so obviously it's a wireless gaming headset now with lossless 2.4 gigahertz low latency connection which allows you to plug in a dongle to your games console or your pc and get that wireless connectivity also has bluetooth as well which is fantastic and the option to connect to 3.5 mil jack as well so you can connect it to other devices including nintendo switch your phone and anything else that will accept 3.5 mil connection more on that later on now this is what i said was a cut down version of the mobius but it still has that awesome quality to it a really nice build and design quality to it and a really good look and feel it's very comfortable to use and i'll talk to you about that as i go through but as you can see it looks very similar to the mobius i'm going to be doing a video separately where i'll compare it with the mobius and talk about the main differences but as you'll see in the box you get a number of nice things that include a detachable microphone that's the mic i'm using now to do the voiceover for this video and several different cables so there is a usb a to USB-C cable and a USB-C to USB-C cable that you can see here and a 3.5 mil cable too. Those USB cables are used for charging purposes. You plug them in and you can charge the headset up like that and then you use this wireless dongle, a long and large wireless dongle that allows for 2.4 gigahertz connectivity. As I said, it also has Bluetooth and you can use both those things at the same time. And I'll talk to you a bit more about that later on, but it is a fantastic option for dual connectivity that I have seen on other headsets like the Steel Series Arctic Pro Wireless. Fantastic bit of kit. You also get a little quick reference guide in the box that talks you through the various buttons and their secondary action because sometimes they have double clicks or long clicks that will do other things so for example you can long press to power the headset on you can also double click to switch back to the previous bluetooth device you can adjust the game chat mix and things like that one thing i will note though is that the usb c to usb c cable and the usb c to usb a cable cannot be used for passing audio so you can't plug that into your gaming pc and get audio that way you need to use the dongle but the 3.5 mil connection will work so as long as the headset has that charge in it you can plug in your 3.5 mil device and use it that way 
you will see that the microphone on the headset does come with a windshield and I am using that while I'm recording this but it still manages to pick up a bit of background noise which is unfortunate or at least noise from my voice as I'm talking. However, it is a nice microphone and it rounds off a very nice package which as you can see includes a very nice design with some faux leather memory foam padded ear cups, large drivers and a really good fit. This is a closed back gaming headset which means it blocks out a lot of external noise and lets you focus on the game or the audio that you're listening to, whether that's music, watching films, or just having a good gaming session, and i found that it's been pretty good for that. The design of the headset also means it has a good clamping force, so it sits nicely on your head and clamps down. It doesn't fly about when you're moving around a bit too quickly. It does mean that with those faux leather ear cups, your ears can get a bit on the warm side, but as you'll see, quite large ear cups, reasonably deep, which means they cover the ears nicely, and there's also quite a bit of turn and twist in the ear cups and the headband, meaning that they will fit onto your head in just the right position, and I've found it to be very comfortable, just like I did with the Mobius and the HyperX Cloud Orbit S, which are all very similar. Underneath the ear cups you get access to the 100mm planar magnetic drivers. Now these drivers are the same ones that they used on the Odyssey Mobius which means that you get a really rich sound but also that they get really loud and I'll show you later on just how loud they get. They do produce some pretty impressive audio so if you're looking for a headset that's loud and proud then this is almost certainly it. These are stereo drivers there is no virtual surround sound processes in, in going on in here so if you're looking for DTS Headphone X or Dolby surround sound you're not going to get it from this headset but you can get it if you have access to it let's say Dolby Atmos or Windows Sonic Sound and you can get that. Obviously if your games are well designed you'll have a good virtual surround soundscape anyway and I found that they've done really well for gaming. I really enjoyed the audio experience from it. I will note however there are a few different problems with it that are worth talking about. I have noticed for example that when there is no audio coming from the headset, if I've not got a game running or if I'm not listening to music, I can hear a bit of static white noise just constantly there, really low and quiet, but it's just there. And so once you start to notice it, it can get a bit of a nag and it's just always there and it's not a side tone thing because you can detach or mute the microphone and still hear it and it's basically just this white noise that's constantly there which is a bit of a shame not something I've experienced with a lot of other headsets and it's a bit of a nag to it also found as I said earlier on that the microphone picks up a bit of the old pops in it too now a few other points of note is that obviously this is a wireless headset which means it has a battery built into it and that you can charge it with those USB cables. They say you can get up to 15 hours of battery life out of it which sounds like a decent amount but I actually have found during my use that it feels like less than that. I feel like it, it doesn't really marry up to be 15 hours. Um, it seemed like it needed charging more regularly than that which is kind of frustrating. You do however get an audible cue within the headset to let you know when the battery is getting low. It will literally say that in the headset that the battery is low. When you turn it on you'll get that notification too so you need to plug it in and let it charge. And you do get that in plenty of time as well, so you do know when it needs to be charged up, so you don't suddenly find you cut off and you don't have any audio anymore. Another thing I've noted is that the 2.4 GHz wireless connection is fairly decent in terms of the distance that you can go. I can probably go a room or two away before it starts to drop out. When I'm on the periphery of that, however, and I found this when getting a drink from a sink, for example. If I go to get a glass of water, I found that, that that's roughly where the audio drops out and the connection gets lost. But if I move a little bit to the left and come back closer, it'll come back in. And at that point, it'll tell me that it's connected. But then if it drops out again and then reconnects again, it'll say connected. And if it drops out and reconnects again, connected. And then I suddenly find myself where I'm in a position in my kitchen or just out of shot 
of my PC where it will say connected, 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 connected to the point of so frustrated I've taken it off sometimes and just left it on my desk when I leave the room. That's not something I'd usually do with a wireless headset. Might seem like a strange nag, but it's just something that I found quite frustrating during my use however there are counterpoints to this for example this headset as i said has bluetooth connection as well and it's a dual connectivity option which means that you can set it up plug the wireless dongle into your pc or games console and connect it to your phone with a bluetooth connectivity for example and you can use both of those at the same time so you could play back music from spotify on your phone for example listen to music there and have that playback in the headset while also still hearing game audio and chat audio from your friends and discord or wherever you can hear that in the headset too at the same time that dual connectivity option is fantastic i've seen that with something like the steel series arctic pro wireless and i really really like it and it makes for a fantastic gaming headset also means that you can obviously connect it to your phone and then use them around the house when you're not playing on your pc uh, you just want to listen to music in bed or something like that you can do that without any bother and it's really nice to be able to do that and have that connection option and the quality of both is really good too another thing you can do is you'll note there's a 3.5 mil connection on the bottom there then you have a 3.5 mil cable included in the box or you can use your own and you can plug in other things to it so if your phone has a 3.5 mil jack on it you can use that or any other 3.5 mil i have used it for example with my go xlr where i've managed to plug in to that and get audio from my mic and mic monitor my external microphone and hear what's going on through that so you can plug it into any mic that has a 3.5 mil connection and then have the audio from your mic through there too so you can get both game audio from the dongle and the audio from your microphone at the same time yes it means you need to be plugged in obviously then adding a wire to a wireless headset but it still means that you have a lot of different connection options and a fantastic bit of kit all around for the most part it is strange that you can't plug in the usb c cable to use audio so you can't just go full audio cable on it uh, you, you can only do it with the dongle plugged in so that's a bit of an oddity obviously you can use bluetooth but you can't use the wired connection and i'll show you that later on which unfortunately means you can't use usb-c to usb-c on your phone either so you can't plug it in that way i don't have a 3.5 mil jack on my phone so i can't use the 3.5 mil connection i can obviously use bluetooth but it doesn't mean that i can't plug it in if i want to now the odyssey mobius had a usb connection which allowed for up to 96 kilohertz 24 bit sample rate which is a high res audio this headset goes up to 50 kilohertz in terms of frequency response and 48 kilohertz 24 bit sample rate as well which means it's not as good quality as the mobius but it does have 100 mil drivers still and it does deliver a really good sound you generally can't get that super high res audio via wireless anyway but you still do get a fantastic audio experience from it so as you can see for the most part a very nice headset a stereo gaming headset with closed back ear cups that blocks out a lot of external noise has a decent quality microphone to it a reasonable comfort brilliant memory foam padding and just a few minor niggles in terms of that white noise the pops from the voice being picked up by the microphone that connected problem that i have with the wireless connection and the battery life which i don't think is 15 hours like they claim i feel like it goes uh, not quite as long as that other silly things i found for example you have to press and hold the power button for a long time before it turns back on also there's a mic mute button uh, on the side there that you can see you can click that on and off easily enough but the trouble is there's no audible cue within the headset to let you know that it's muted there's also no visual cues you don't have an led light for example on the microphone to tell you that it's on or off so there's no way of knowing which way you've clicked it so it's a bit tricky to know whether you've got it in the right position to mute that microphone or not a button on the front near the microphone is quite handy that you basically press that and you can switch between the various different 
modes. So this multi-function button, one click takes you between wireless, Bluetooth and auxiliary. If you plug the 3.5mm connection in, it will automatically recognise that the 3.5mm has been plugged in and it will give you that source in there quite easily. And obviously if you've paired it with a Bluetooth device like your phone, you can easily click and switch to that. But you can also listen to your wireless dongle at the same time. On the headset itself you also have a volume wheel for the microphone and for the headset audio. When you roll that wheel all the way up for the headset audio to the maximum you'll get an audible cue, just a beep in there which will let you know that you're at maximum. You surely will know that anyway if you're playing audio back because it gets very loud. Those 100mm drivers really go very loud and you will probably want to turn it down immediately. <laughs> Another thing of note though is that those buttons also have a secondary action. So for example, if you double click on the volume wheel, it will take you back to the last Bluetooth device. If you press and scroll up or down on the mic volume wheel, it will adjust the game chat mix, which is the audio you hear between, for example, your game and your voice chat with your teammates and your friends. So you can adjust that on the fly too, which is really nice. So, for the most part, a really nice gaming headset, really comfortable, really good quality, premium design, sits nicely on the head, it does have a bit of clamping force to it, but if you don't want your headset to fly off and want it to block out a lot of external noise, then this is certainly the one for you. Now, I'm going to show you in a little while the software, because there is software that you can get on your phone and on your PC, which allows you to adjust a few different things but also one thing I wanted to demonstrate which is what I talked about earlier on is the fact that you can't use a USB-C cable to connect it to your phone which is a shame so I've got a USB-C to USB-C cable here and plug it in to the headset and then into my phone now this is something I did with uh, Corsair Virtuoso which is a considerably cheaper device and that was as simple as plug and play you could plug it in like this and then play back but that USB port on the Penrose is essentially just for charging purposes and nothing else. Now one thing I will show you is a clip of how loud the audio gets so if I set it into Bluetooth mode so that you can hear it playing back from my phone instead of via that USB connection you'll be able to hear just how loud that gets. It's obviously hard to do that justice because it's going to vary depending on what you're listening to it on but you'll have to take my word that that is very loud and delivers a really rich sound too. The next thing I wanted to be able to do was to show just how much background audio it picks up while I'm typing so here I am sitting at my desk as normal with the keyboard and if I just start typing on it then you'll be able to hear what the mic picks up. It might pick up some of the background audio, but not a great deal. It certainly seems to eliminate a lot of the background key sounds. This certainly isn't noticeable during a stream or something, for example. And you can tweak the mic settings within the software and within Windows to adjust the level of gain. Just move the mic closer to your mouth to counter any background problems that you might be picking up. And here we are within the Odyssey software, which as you can see for the Penrose is fairly straightforward. Basically you have three different tabs. Mix um, device info, which gives you a bit of info about the headset itself. Battery charge, the status that is connected, it has to be plugged in with both the wireless dongle and the USB cable in order to do this. And then the firmware updates, you can do firmware updates from ease from here. You'll see you can adjust between various different presets. They're all basically set to the same 
default one and I tweak the levels here but you can go in and you can customize these so there are no settings for like games or music or whatever you have to adjust it yourself and adjust the equalizer on that well, what you will see is that you can turn side tone on and off from here so if you don't like hearing your own voice you can turn that off with these two you can adjust what I was talking about earlier on the mix between the game and voice balance and also adjust the microphone capture level as you can see fairly straightforward and basic pretty no frills but easy enough to use hope you found this video useful let me know in the comments if you've got any questions thanks for watching this has been the provoke prawn thanks for taking the time to watch this video hope you found it useful interesting hilarious or all of the above be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that i think might be useful to you and have a great life.